Hey, what's up guys, Prince Mason here. Welcome to a brand new tutorial. It's been a while since I put up a video and it's because I've been extremely busy. I had to travel for work, but I'm back now and I'm trying to put up videos or put out videos as um, regularly as I can. So let's get straight into this tutorial. Today we're gonna to be retouching hair. I'll be showing you how I retouch hair, how I take my hair from looking, you know, sometimes pretty messy to making it look really great and gorgeous. So if you're a beauty photographer, or you're shooting you know for a hair company you know that retouching hair can drive you nuts it is one of the hardest things to do when you don't know the right way to do it. so today i'm going to show you a pretty easy way to retouch hair and um, if you learn this then you always make your hair look great now i have done this video before but the audio was terrible so i had to do it again so you guys can get better audio and you guys can hear me talk very well so um i'll show you the before so this is the hair now this image has been retouched. Um, I've done the whole skin retouching, the dodge and burn, but I haven't retouched the hair. I kept that for last. So this is the hair, this is the before, and this is the after. Now the hair looks good without you know retouching, but it doesn't look great. I um, want the hair to look great, want our subject to look you know really good. So this is our before, I'm sorry, this is our before right here, and this is the after. So I'm going to delete this layer and let's get straight into it. Today, I'll be showing you how to retouch hair with frequency separation. Now, there are a lot of ways people do it. Some people do not like frequency separation. Some people think it's not good, you know, but I just think that it depends on how you use it. And it's about, you know, using the um, what you know. It's about the tools. Um, it's not about the tools, I mean. Uh, it's about using the tools to get the end result that looks great. So let's get straight into today's tutorial now. The first thing I'll do is I'll create, you know, with my action as a frequency. Um, separation layer just going to change my videos to eight i have a check layer and my dodge and burn in my check layer which is crazy but let me just delete my check layer because i'm not going to need it and um yeah so we have our dodge and burn and our frequency separation here what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our mixer brush tool if you haven't watched my video on frequency separation and how to use it to retouch skin you should definitely check that out i did um a four-part series also on how to retouch dark skin go check those tutorial out um those tutorials out and they'll really help you so now that we have this picked so i'm just going to pick my mixer brush tool set my wet to 50 my load to 50 my mix 30 my flow 30. now i think your mix it really does not matter when you go with this settings here because you know your brush um it's not going to pick up any color so that does not really matter but hey i'm just going to use that there because i'm used to it um so now let's just get straight into um, retouching the hair so now I'm going to drag from my shadows to my shadows and I'm not going to pull into my highlights because I want to I want to keep my highlights there but I just want the the gradient to be very nice and you know simple at the same time I don't want any harsh highlights up there um, retouch this parts too just right here so all I have to do is just brush on my highlights and shadows just make sure that Everything is smooth now. I do not like the highlights that are down here, so I'm just going to cover that with the shadows. Just going to brush left and right, then make sure the gradient um, looks nice and beautiful. Just going to brush this up here too. Okay, so now that we have that gone, I'm going to take this out too. Then here I want the highlights to be here, then shadows here. So as you guys can see, just pretty quickly now, if you're just learning this or you're just doing this for the first time or you're doing this for a client or your work, whatever, I would advise you to take your time to do it, you know, better and make sure it looks um, great. Do not rush to where I'm doing it. I'm rushing because I don't want to keep you guys here for too long for today's tutorial. So, yeah. So all I'm doing is working with my mixer brush tool on my low frequency layer. So all I'm doing is affecting the colors of my image and not really texture but at the same time it makes it look smooth because textures can be repli um, replicated with shadows and highlights basically so once we're doing that we're actually taking away the shadows and highlights that are making the hair look really textured and look really good but we're going to put that back at the end of the at the end of the video so now that we have this sorted out i'm going to come this way at the same time i still want to keep this highlight but I want it to look really smooth. The highlights on the hair, yeah. Do not forget that shadows and highlights make your hair look really good and really great. So I'm just going to make sure I'm keeping my highlights and my shadows where they're supposed to be, right? Let's see where we are at now. 
So this is our before and this is our after now, before, after. Our hair looks smoother and better, but it looks dull, you know, because um, we've removed a lot of the um, highlights and shadows that are making the textures pop. But not to worry, like I said, we're going to bring that back at the end of the tutorial. So now I'm going to move to my clone stamp tool. So I'm just going to pick my clone stamp tool, make sure my flow is 100, my opacity is 100. Uh, my hardness should be about 38, that should be fine. Then I'll move to my high frequency layer, zoom in. And now I'm just going to take out the strands, this little strands of hair right here. Just going to take this out. I don't like this here, so I'll take that out. Now what this is doing is just making the hair look, you know, even smoother than before. You know, um, we don't want all the strands of hair that are here. Because it just makes the hair look really messy. Now we're trying to take, take that out. Like I said, um, and like I say in all my tutorials, um, whenever you're doing this, just try and take your time. Um, retouching is not um, about how soon you can get an image to look good. You know, like as a photographer, I don't believe you spend too much time retouching. You should actually spend more time shooting and get your images to look good in camera. But, you know, when you're retouching, just try and take your time, uh, especially during um, the learning curve. Try to take your time and not to rush too much and get your images looking fake. The whole idea of retouching an image is to enhance um, the image that is already good and not to, uh, you know, try and change how your subject looks. Because um, that's what a lot of people do with their retouching. So, yeah. Like I said, take your time with this. Um, there's no hurry, especially when you're just learning how to use this technique. I would spend a lot more time on normal day taking out the strands of the hair. But... Um, I know, like I said, right now it's looking pretty fake, but don't worry. We'll sort that out. Hopefully that was not too loud. But yeah, after using the clone stamp tool, you can see we've cleaned, we've cleaned up a lot of this um, stray strands of hair that just, yeah, making this part of the hair look really messy. Sample and paint, sample and paint, sample and paint, sample and paint, sample and paint. That's all you do with the clone stamp tool, sample and paint. If you do not know how to use the clone stamp tool, um, there are a couple videos on the internet on YouTube that will show you how to do that. You guys should definitely check them out. Then you can come and try this with your hair too. So... Well, like I said, we've done a pretty decent job with cleaning up the hair and um, making it look smooth. I think so. I think we've done a pretty decent job. So let's check out before. Just going to zoom this in 100%. So before, after, before, after, before, after. Yeah, I think we've done a pretty decent job. Like I said, I'll take my time because I can see some few strands that are still just hanging in there that are pretty annoying. So. I'll take my time and try and do better. But um, now that we're done with this, the next thing we want to do is we want to create textures. Like I said, when um, we're actually trying to blend the hair and make it look really good, you know, fix the colors and everything, we kind of messed up the texture of the hair. So right now we're going to paint the texture back into the hair. And the way we're going to do that is by creating white lines that would act as the texture or shadows and highlights. So let me just show you guys how to do that. I'll pick a brush tool, change my hardness to 100. Um, the size, um, two pixels should be fine. Then I'll set my flow back to 100%. Um, create a new layer. Don't forget to create a new layer. And what I'm just going to do is, I'm not going to be perfect with how I'm drawing these lines, but just, sorry. Make sure you change your foreground color to white at first. I'm not going to be perfect with how I'm painting these lines, but you can see I'm following, I'm trying my best to follow um, the hair, you know, th um, the flow of the hair, just to see how, how it goes. You can see that, right? Okay, I still think that's messed up. Does not have to be perfect, but hey, you know, just make sure it's good. Oof, that was a terrible one. Okay. 
think this this is better. Just make sure it's good. It does not have to be perfect. Then um, I'm gonna draw it down here too. Oh, that's not how it's. <laughs> oh boy. And like I said, it really doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can get it to look really good, that would be nice. Then here it flows this way. If you can get it to look really nice, that would be pretty good. It will make your hair look better, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to rush through it so that you guys can get the you guys can get the idea right here too. I'm going to do the same thing for this part of the hair. Oh, that's a nasty light. So basically, I'm just drawing lines that are actually moving with the shape of the hair. Try not to draw lines that are crossing each other too much. Then at this point, it moves like this. Sure. Then, then like this. The last one I did was way better than this, but the audio was terrible, so you guys just have to bear with me here. Like I said, um, when you're making your own video, um, try your best to make sure it looks better than, sorry, not video, when you're retouching your own image, try try your best to make sure it looks better than this, so. Um, so I'll go to blur, pick Gaussian blur. I'll use a radius of one, then I'll change the soft light. Can you guys see? Before, after, before, after, before, after. You can see we already painted the texture back into the hair. For the opacity, I'll set this opacity to about 80. That should be fine. I'll create a new layer. So we just create a highlight and it's always good to create shadows too. So same brush, two pixels. I'll make sure my foreground is black now. Create a new um, layer and I'll just paint black lines into this. Oh, that was on my face. That's not good. I'm going to paint back lines into this. Okay. So black lines down here, right here too. We're going to take. It's, it's, it's quite a lot of work and, you know, I advise anybody that's doing this to take their pretty time to, to work on this. Just going to work down here too, create a few lines here. So yeah, um, filter, Gaussian blur, blur, oh, oh, <laughs> back. Filter, Gaussian blur. Then one, the radius will be one. And I'm going to change this to soft light too, but I'll leave this at 100%. Then group them and just name it hair texture. It's always good to name your layers. So this is, or this was our before. And this is where we're at now. So before, this is where we're at now. After that, I'm going to do a little bit of dodging and burning just to bring out the highlights of the hair, just to make it look really rich and really nice, which is always a great addition. So these are my dodge and burn layers that I created. If you haven't watched my videos on dodge and burn, you should check them out. I have, I think I have two videos on dodge and burn. One was in the last series where I talked about how to retouch dark skin, then the first one was a while back. So I have two videos on Dodge and Burn on my um, channel. You can check them out, and there are like a ton of videos on Dodge and Burn, you know, out there. So check them out too. Um, now I'm just going to dodge my hair. So as you can see, I'm dodging the highlights mainly. Just with a small brush, just create nice highlights, then spots too. And touch my highlight. Then right here too. I think there's some highlights down here too that I can just touch. Completely everything. Then I burn my shadows. So 
Ok, tiene dados. Dados nada. Ok. And let's see. Let me zoom out. Maybe I'll just reduce my dodge and burn just a little bit so it doesn't look fake. Yep. Somewhere around this is fine. And here, guys, I'm going to put all this in a group and name it here. So put it in the group is command G. Then let me hit. So this is our before and this is our after. So before, after. Now, I would, like I said, I advise you take more time to do this when you're working on your own image. So this is our before again and our after. Image looks pretty good now. Looks pretty nice. And yeah, so this is the end of today's, um, today's tutorial. Sorry. If you enjoyed this tutorial, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you... Um, are subscribed to my channel do not forget to turn on the notification button so that I can receive notifications every time I put up a new video Also, the reason why this dodge and burn looks terrible is because I forgot to turn my hardness down I was wondering. Oh my god Lord have mercy <laughs> That's a terrible mistake to make uh, Yeah, so I Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had to do my dodge and burn again, but just to show you guys this is the before and this is the after, before, after, before and after. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want me to retouch your images, just send them in. If I love them. If I feel like I can, I'll definitely do a video of me retouching them and put them out. So thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in another video. Have a great day. Peace.